Hello, everyone, and welcome to St. Matthew's Church. My name is Reverend Philip Stonhaus, and a warm welcome to all of those that might be joining us for the first time. This is our weekly bedtime stories. We have plenty of bedtime stories before this, but today we are reading the history of the five little pigs. You might, might remember those five little pigs from when they were counted on your toes. I remember as a kid, there was ten, a 10 pig version, but I don't remember that offhand. So without fur further delay, the story, the history of the five little pigs. There was once a family of five little pigs and Mrs. Pig, their mother, loved them all very dearly. Some of these little pigs were very good and took a great deal of trouble to please her. The eldest pig was so active and useful that he was called Mr. Pig. One day he went to market with a cart full of vegetables Rusty, the donkey, began to show his bad temper before he had gone very far on the road. All the coaxing and whipping could not make him move. So Mr. Pig took him out of the shafts and being very strong, ugh, drew the cart to the market himself. When he got there, all of the other pigs began to laugh. <laughs> but they did not laugh so loudly when Mr. Pig told him all of his struggles on the road. When Mr. Pig, he lost no time in selling his vegetables. And very soon after, Rusty came trotting into the marketplace. And as he now seemed willing to take his place in the cart, Mr. Pig started from home without delay. When he got there, he told Mrs. Pig his story. And she called him her best and most worthy son. This little pig very much wanted to go with his brother. But as he was so mischievous, that he could not be trusted far away. His mother made him stay at home and told him to keep a good fire while she went out to the millers to buy some flour. But as soon as he was alone, instead of learning his lessons, he began to tease the poor cat. Then he got into the bellows and cut the leather with a knife so as to see where the wind came from. And when he could not find this out, he began to cry. <laughs> After this, he broke all his brother's toys. He forced the drumstick through the drum. He tore off the tail from the kite. And then he pour, pulled off the horse's head. And when he went to the cupboard, he ate all of the jam. <laughs> When Mrs. Pig came home, she sat down by the fire and being very tired, she soon fell asleep. No sooner had she done so than this bad little pig got a long handkerchief and tied her to the chair. <gasps> but soon she awoke and found out all the mischief that he had been doing. He saw at once the damage he'd been doing to his brother's playthings. So she quickly brought out her thickest and heaviest birch and gave this naughty little pig a spanking that he did not forget for a long time. This little pig was a very good and careful fellow. He gave his mother scarcely any trouble and always took a pleasure in doing all she bade him. Here you see him sitting down with clean hands, 
and face to some nice roast beef. While his brother, the idle pig, who is standing on the stool in the corner with the dunce's cap on, has none. He sat down and quietly learned his lesson and asked his mother to hear him repeat it. This he did so well that Mrs. Pig stroked him on the ears and forehead and called him a good little pig. After this, he asked her to allow him to help her make tea. He brought everything she wanted and lifted off the kettle from the fire without spilling a drop, either on his toes or the carpet. By and by, he went out after asking his mother's leave to place with his hoop, to play with his hoop. He had not gone far when he saw an old blind pig who, with his hat in his hand, was crying at the loss of his dog. Poor old blind pig. So he put his hand in his pocket and found a halfpenny, which he gave to the poor old pig. It was for such thoughtful conduct as this that his mother often gave this little big pig roast beef. We now come to the little pig who had none. This was the most obstinate and willful little pig his mother had seen had set him to learn his lesson. But no sooner had she gone out into the garden than he tore his book into pieces. When his mother came back, he ran off into the streets to play with other idle little pigs like himself. After this, he quarreled with one of the pigs and got a sound thrashing. Being afraid to go home, he stayed out till it was quite dark and caught a severe cold. Achoo! So he was taken home and put to bed and had to take a lot of nasty medicine. This little pig went fishing. Now he had been told not to go into Farmer Grumpy's grounds, Father Grum Farmer Grumpy's grounds, who did not allow anyone to fish in his part of the river. But in spite of what he had been told, this foolish little pig went there. He soon caught a very large fish. And while he was trying to carry it home, Farmer Grumpy came running along and soon he dropped the fish and the farmer caught him and punished him. The little pig ran off crying, wee, 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 all the way home. And that is the story of the five little pigs. Next week, we will look at the history of old Mother Goose and her son, Jack. Never heard about her son, Jack. I'm excited for that one. Well, thank you so much everyone for joining us. This has been the story of the five little pigs. Very different than I remember it, but nonetheless, some good lessons there for all of us, young or young at heart. God bless to you and talk to you soon.